Okay, what you Hello, do? and welcome back to another dish of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is April the 7th, 2023, and we're in the bed house here. Um, this is the lettuce patch here. This is probably about the fourth cutting that we got off of it. And it's definitely growing a lot faster than the stuff in the containers over there. So um, this here is uh, planted right into the ground in a raised bed. And um, we're filling uh, two, gallon bags up. two gallon bags up. We filled one up uh, the last time, and we're gonna. Last week. Uh, was that last week? Yep. Last week, um, filled up a whole two gallon bag, and we're coming out to uh, harvest again. You can see this is already here. So um, it was really wet this morning, so we moved the fan in the greenhouse to uh, let the fan actually blow right across the lettuce itself. So, um, it would dry our lettuce off for us. This is supposed to be uh, an anti-drip plastic, but um, it drips. This is going to be a lot of lettuce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a lot of lettuce. So I gotta make a way in here so I can see what we got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're just doing cut right to the below the horde. Yeah, we're doing this a little different this time. At first, we were just cutting the outside leaves, and you can see how much it grew. So right now, the way that we're harvesting it is we're cutting just above of what they call the heart of the lettuce, and I'll show you a close up of that. And you can see down here how much is left. So we're not just cutting the outside leaves off anymore because of how big this lettuce is. I'm going to show you here, we got some open here. And uh, this is a pretty big patch here. So you can see right where we're going to cut at. And it's right above what they call the heart of the lettuce stem. See the queen. Yeah, you can see the inside of it's still there. You can see how much is left there. And the so, milk comes out and seals it off and makes the stork run again. Now when this was little, like I said, we cut the outsides and we left the centers grow, but we're changing it because of how large it has grown now. We don't want it to bolt. Yeah, we, um, we don't want our lettuce to bolt and uh, they're calling for like 80s. We were 80 degrees the one day, but um, we had the fans on in here and the doors open. And uh, the sun wasn't out, but this is a very large lettuce patch. And you can see here how large these bunches are here. And uh, that's a one bag, already. one bag already. And you can see we did not get very far. I don't think we brought enough bags out. We only got 11 stalks done. So, 11 stalks did a two gallon bag. So, um, whatever you cut off or whatever you miss, you want to make sure you get it out of your greenhouse or out of your um, raised bed or wherever you're growing your lettuce at. Because what will actually happen is um, you'll invite the slugs in because they'll come to eat the uh, decomposing greens <laughs> so 13 stalks filled a two gallon bag and um, we still have a lot more to pick we didn't bring out enough bags oh that could be a problem that's all we have we got one more bags that'll work and uh, you want to try and keep your lettuce as clean as possible. Um, we do wash our lettuce, but still you want to keep it as clean as you can. So uh, we started on the second bag. Let's see here how much we already got so far. And 
And we have um, a salad spinner. We wash our lettuce off under cold water and um, we have a salad spinner that we use to dry the lettuce to get the moisture off of it then. And in these bags in the refrigerator, if it don't freeze, you can probably keep it close to two weeks when it's fresh like this. You can see what's been harvested so far. You can see what we have left here to harvest. So good. Mm -hmm. So um, you can see the uh, red beets over here. They have grown considerably since uh, the last videos that I did when I showed the bed house. And the fan has helped a lot with um, keeping the airflow going. We are still getting the moisture that's dripping but um, we're not having any issues because of it. We still have you know, the fan going. We have it off right now so we can do the video. But um, back there, we planted some uh, tomato plants. Those are early girls back there. They were planted directly in the ground and they came up on their own. The white stuff on them is a diatomaceous earth for uh, aphids. But um, we have three plants back there and uh, those are going to be growing in this greenhouse here. If we would have thought about it sooner, we could have had the tomatoes with the lettuce, but um, didn't think about it in time. So um, this was experimental, what we did here, and um, it worked really well. So uh, we, providing we have room, we'll be doing this during the winter time. So we have our fresh lettuce, um, homegrown, and we don't have to buy it. Now, uh, we've actually been eating that much salad that we ran out of dressing, so uh, we do have to go to the store and get some dressing. But um, there's different homemade dressings that people make, and uh, they like them. And uh, we have our different dressings that we like. I am a fan. My mom and I are fans of ranch dressing, and my dad has different types of salad dressings that he likes. But... Um, what I find with the homegrown lettuce is I don't really need that much salad dressing on it. And um, that's just something like with the homegrown stuff, I really don't put that much dressing. Like I'll put some on it, but not like I did from uh, the stuff that we bought from the store. It's not bitter. <laughs> yeah, it's sweet. It's not bitter. It has like a different flavor to it. These things are humongous. They are big. Can you even find the center of that plant? Yeah, we'll find it. Yeah. What should help take out some humidity? Some yeah, it heat. will take out some humidity and some heat. But, um, we're going to see how the tomatoes grow in here. Because that spot up there, I don't use it. And uh, we're going to see how that grows, how they grow up there. I do want to put some cucumbers in here and hanging baskets. Because this is a, a taller greenhouse. And I'm hoping that uh, I won't have the issue of hitting my head on uh, the hanging baskets from the cucumbers. Because um, for some reason... We used to be able to grow the cucumbers outside, but over the last, I forget how many years now, they just weren't growing outside anymore. So I started trying them and growing them in hanging baskets and got really nice harvest off of them. And um, we love making pickles and stuff, homemade pickles. So uh, I pulled the cucumber seeds out today. Thank you. And um, I want to get some of those planted so we can have some uh, crops of cucumbers coming. And I'm going to be doing them in the hanging baskets. So um, when you're watering your lettuce, what I like to do is I like to get Sorry. the water as close to the ground as possible so that the uh, ground doesn't splash up on the lettuce leaves. 
and um, I did last time with as densely packed as it was with all the lettuce before it was harvested I actually used the soaker hoses down there and I put them on the timer and I watered it like that there were a few spots that it missed so I put the watering wand down through on a shower and I didn't turn it on until I had it down at the soil level and just gently turned it on to um, go ahead and water keeps your the lettuce. lettuce. Clean. Yeah, it keeps the lettuce a lot cleaner. The leaves and here touch ground, they will have it on, but most of it is staying up. Yeah. Like this one here got some on the leaf. Yeah, that I one's like. pretty, has a lot of stuff on the leaf there. But um, I do, we do really watch like how we water our lettuce and stuff and any of our leafy greens. You can see how nice it looks. You can eat that right out there even when you have to throw the water on it. There's Mikey! Where's Mikey? I think he was eating Hi, something. Hi, Yeah, did you eat your bone? Mm. Mikey. Yeah, Michael likes to, Mikey likes to eat lettuce. Okay, so, um, two, two gallon bags are full. And we don't want to pack it in because that's how you can damage your lettuce leaves. So um, it's not packed tight. That's uh, if you notice when you get your stuff from the stores when they're in those packages, and the leaves are heavily damaged. It's because of how tightly they pack everything in there. So you can see here what all was left, and uh, we're gonna have to go get some other bags. Hey, you take this? So uh, this can be harvested more. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a celosia here. And uh, my celosia was planted in here last year. Some of it reseeded itself, so it's kind of coming up at different spots. Whoops, sorry. So it's kind of coming up at different spots. So that's one of my celosia plants there. So um, we're almost done picking the lettuce here. Now, what you want to do with your lettuce, we are, it's cool outside. It's kind of warm in the greenhouse, but it's not really hot, hot. So um, you want to harvest your lettuce at the coolest time that you can. You want to make sure that your plants are not drought stressed when you harvest them. And um, you want to make sure that you get your lettuce into a cool area as quickly as possible, like in the refrigerator. Now you don't want your lettuce to freeze. So um, we put ours in... Uh, our refrigerator and those Ziploc bags and then um, like this one here this is going to Walmart bags because we ran out of uh, our other bags that we had so this will be going directly into the refrigerator because if you let it set out even for like 30 minutes it's going to start wilting on you and uh, you don't want that so uh, this is a really nice lettuce harvest here and uh, it's really clean lettuce. You know, you have some dirt on it, but it's not nearly as bad as some stuff that I have seen already. And uh, we liked having our homegrown lettuce and our homegrown vegetables. And you can even do this in Ooh. planters. If you have like a balcony or something and you want to grow some homegrown lettuce, all you need is some containers, window boxes work, and um, or make your own plant. Yeah, you can make your own planters, and uh, you know you can grow your own lettuce and uh, different vegetables at home yourself. Ooh. Whoops. Okay. So that's about it for this. We'll yep. just clean up for what we have and little leaves and we'll get that down there first. So uh, this is what we got so far for that. And um, we're harvesting the stuff out of the containers. This did not produce as much, but it is still producing. And, you know, like I said, if you don't have a spot or ground to garden in, you can garden in containers and uh, it does work. Little celosias are growing there. Now this one here, these these here, it's it's weird because these are growing in the same 
system, but these, these, as you can see, are a lot bigger than what they were. It could have been the plants. The other ones could have been weaker seedlings, maybe. All of them together? Hmm? I don't know. Maybe one got more food than another one. I don't know. So, uh, this is this bag is pretty much completely full. And uh, you can see back there, we have um, the containers back there. I'm starting my Celestia crops here. So the next thing is, is uh, to clean up in here and then um, we're going to weigh it at the end of the video and we'll tell you how much total lettuce we harvested off of here. And uh, we do have fish worms in uh, our raised beds in the greenhouse in here. So, um, from underneath the ground. just cleaning up any leaves so we don't wind up with slugs. Yeah, you don't want to be slug wars. You can't get them all, but you can get what you can. And then uh, the lettuce total is coming up next. Four pounds. Four and a half pounds of lettuce, at least. So we got at least four and a half pounds of lettuce off. And like I said, it's hard to weigh because the bags really don't fit right on that scale. And uh, this is going back in the refrigerator. And uh, so I um, hope you enjoyed the uh, epic lettuce harvest here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the tips and they found them helpful that I gave for uh, how to grow a lettuce crop in uh, a greenhouse or raised beds and containers. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that ties I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank yous for watching and have a nice day. Bye.